I have picked out a total of five hockey games that I have never seen and never knew existed. What difficulty am I on? I can't even move. You get that big hit because then I have not touched the puck for it. What is happening? We have Cappy Hockey. Like, I don't really know what's... Oh, we got the puck on our stick? Boom! I just scored on our own net. Welcome to part two of me being miserable for your guys' entertainment. That's right, we're doing it again. This is the worst hockey games ever made. In our last video, I'm not gonna lie, they surprised me a bit. We found some hidden gems, we had some fun, and some of those games I'll continue to play. Now, don't get me wrong, some of those games, without a doubt, should not exist. But regardless, we are back on the hunt trying to find the next best thing, and I think today is our lucky day. So for today's video, we have five games that we are testing out. I went out of Steam, I searched up hockey, and we found the biggest variety of games that you will ever see. Just to let you know how dedicated I am to this series, I spent $60 on the first game. This is Ice Battle. Based on the pictures alone, I think I'm going to regret this. Here we go. Game one loading in. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Right off the rip. 60 bucks on this bad boy. We got a guy here that we can move around. Okay. We can move around. That's sick. Also, shout out to the fans up along the boards. They are sliding at a, a slight pace from left to right. Not sure what that's all about, but the environment to set up actually looks pretty sick. Part of the vector graphics was taken from the site freepick. I clicked on this thing, open to find the controls, and we get the freepick.com. Well, now we know where all the fans came from. Shout out to, to freepick.com coming in clutch. Okay, okay, there's nothing left to do but hit play. Let's jump into this thing. Choose your team. So we are going by country. It looks like we don't have the US, we don't have Canada. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll rep this. We'll rep the Swede for now. We'll go. We'll go Team Sweden off the rip. Okay, here we go. Hitting the play button. We have our tourney table. Okay, we got a little Olympic vibe here. I like that. It's a good setup. So we got game one here up in the top left. Uh, lots of teams that we need to beat. We got some work to do. Let's let's get in. Three, two, one. Okay, what, what team am I? Okay, I'm blue. So here you go. This this is the controls. It looks like you guys have probably played a game similar to this at some point in your life. You just have to click and drag to control where you want to go. Once you get to the puck, it looks... I thought there was going to be like a, like a mechanic where you grab the puck or something, but no. You're literally just at a standstill. You have to whack the puck around and hopefully get one into the back of your net. You know, I'm, I'm just going to say right off the rip. You know, it's early. It's early. I'm not going to judge it too hard. 60 bucks was maybe a little bit on the expensive side for a game like this. Obviously, we do have to give a shout out to the snowflakes coming around the corner. Also, it looks like the AI are paying no attention whatsoever to where they're hitting the puck. I'm just going to stand here and I want to see. Maybe they'll hit it backwards into their own net. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. There, There's no way. I was kidding. I let go of my mouse and he bops it backwards off a guy. I think that went through the side of the net as well into the back of their own net. Of course, after the goal happens, if we could just roll that back, Strive, roll that back a few times, the air horns. Beep, beep, beep. You scored a goal textbook, pops up. Holy, this game is sick. Why, why is it up there for $60? There, there were zero reviews. No one had played it. I'm the sucker that paid $60. Why the air horn? Not only that, the clock up top is going up. Are we doing 45 minute soccer halves or what is happening here? The clock's going up. We have three periods, so there is some set amount of period, but for some reason it's going up. All right, I'm scoring one legit goal and we're getting out of here and I'm refunding this game literally instantly. This may be, when I said that there were games that should not exist, I didn't expect it to be the $60 game. I thought this one had a little bit of potential. It was maybe a little underground. No one had played it, but this is where we are, dude. I do actually like this style of game though. Like all jokes aside, if somebody made a good version of a game like this that had like a ranked mode in it, I'm not gonna lie, I would grind it. Oh no, we gotta get back. Look at his back check. Look at his back check. This guy's nuts! What a goal, fellas! Boom! Okay, I am. Uh, I'm regretting this video already. That's game number one. This is called. Uh, what is this called? Ice battle again. Coming in at a crisp sixty dollars. You know, you you be the judge of this one. Moving on to game number two. Okay, now we're talking. This menu music's more of my vibe here. Oh! 
Let's go, boys. Fire me up. I don't even think we did a menu music review of uh, Ice Bat. I don't think there was any music on that game. Let's be honest. This is kind of slapping a little country, little country vibe. We got Hoser Hockey, game number... Ooh, the little... A nice little sound effect there. Good touch. This game's coming in at $7.99. The menu looks a little rough, but at least there is a controls thing. We can use a controller as well. So we got to switch with A, A, B, X, Y. It's all the usual controls, dude. Let's get it. Okay, so we hit play here. We have two different... Oh, they got online play in here. Dub Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I think we would sit here for the next 36 hours trying to find a game of online hoser hockey. We're going to go hoser hockey league, and then we have... Oh, my. Yo. The art is actually kind of sick. Like, I like the look here. Straight off the rip. We're going to go with the Ice Hogs. We got six teams, 10 weeks. Let's get it, boys. We're taking on the Mud Men for game number one. Oh, yo. Wait, this this actually looks sick. I mean, the ice is a little beat up. No, we got a, we got a 15 second warm up as well. Is that McKinnon? We got McKinnon. Let's go. Biznet. We got Biz Nasty and McKinnon on the lineup. Two minutes right off the rip. Three, two, one. Here we go. We are underway. Ooh, okay, this is more my level. <gasps> Yo! Yo, do you guys see that? When you when you hit somebody, there's like a brief frame where you go into, you're like in a, you're wrapped up. Like you had a broken body. Like, can we get a freeze frame on that? When you're watching it in real time, you really can't tell what's happening. I'll be honest, but it's kind of a nice touch. That's sick. Dude, up top, we have a, uh, there's a radio that's playing up top. And as you get closer to it, it gets louder. That is fire. I know we're kind of focused on the goods right now. The, uh, the actual gameplay itself, you know, is looking, looking maybe a bit on the rough side. I save their tend. Now, obviously, the most important thing when it comes to these games is what happens when you score a goal. Like, I want to see this place. Oh, the shooting if they aim too. Okay, so you can do a little dump and chase like we did there. Hey, okay, period number one is coming to an end. We have zero goals. I have zero shots on net. The hitting is so tough. Like you go for six hits in a row on the same guy and the full casket comes up or whatever you want to call that. And they never once lose the puck <gasps> save their attendees seem dialed too this is this is reminding me of mini mini hockey champ a little bit with how dialed the attendees are and how impossible it is to score goals <gasps> boom okay so when you go for the shot there's a bar that comes up and then it takes longer like, i don't know if you want the bar to be big or small when you release i think smaller might be better aim bigger might just get it off quicker dude this game is starting to rattle me a little bit i'm not gonna Okay, so not only do we have the same air horn from the last game, at least we do have a nice little graphics package, like her face popped up at the bottom. Like, that's nice. That's nice. The fireworks popped off, also nice. We wanted a little bit more off the goal celebration, but honestly, not bad. Not bad. This game might be tougher than mini hockey champ. Like, I'm just going to say it. I thought that was the toughest hockey game ever made. I cannot move. I, I get bopped three times. <gasps> Busy! Can't get a shot off. I, I, I hold. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. And then the second I, I'm like a millisecond away from shooting, I get bopped. Give it to McKinnon. I think McKinnon's our guy. I think our, he's our guy. <sighs> Dude, go in. Okay, seven seconds. We got one last rush. If we hit a buzzer beater, this would be the greatest, the greatest moment in Hoser hockey history. Three, two. That's the end, dude. After all that, it just ends and this screen pops up. Come on, man. It was Janice Bizonette and Al McKinnon, dude. And neither of them could bury one. So we lose our first game 1-0. I just want to score a goal. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to score one goal and then we'll give our final review. <gasps> Bang! Let's go, boys. Hanson, you legend. Hey! Alright, we scored a goal. This is Hoser Hockey. The gameplay is absolutely horrible. The the artwork and the atmosphere is sick, though. Like, I love the full cast that you go into when you hit the guy. Like, I love the couch up top. I love the country vibe. This game, overall, I'm giving it a, a, a 3 out of 10, but it has potential. Alright, we're having some fun. Next up, we have... Oh, no. Next up, we have hockey space. It looks like a space air ho uh, like air hockey vibe. I don't know. The main menu looks nuts, though. Oh! Oh! Yo, this is... What is happening? Oh, my. This looks nuts! This is actually sick! Wait, can I use a controller? I can. Okay, so this is space hockey. This is absolute chaos. 
This actually looks nuts, though. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little cape on here. I've got the puck down low. It's kind of tough to tell where the puck is, but luckily we do have a trail. Uh, as you move up the zones, the camera does move with you. This looks fire. Oh! Now we are talking, boy! What does that say? It said something. I couldn't see anything, though. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. What is what is going on? I I I I have no clue what's happening anymore. Dude! I could see what's happening. I just I, there is nothing that I could have done to stop. Oh wait, what is what is happening here? So around the around the face-off circles, we have ew! Ew! We gotta get some shots here, fellas. Dude, this game is actually this game is sick! Ew! We got the Rocket League goal explosion. The music and the graphics are nuts. Now, I'm not going to lie. Some of this stuff could use some work. Like, you can't really tell what is happening at any given moment. I'm just I'm just sprinting around spamming buttons right now. <gasps> that guy's flying. Dude, this is sick. This game actually, I'm not, okay. We got to, what does this say? There's like eight text boxes that, that pop up. I cannot read a single word on any of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck in the net. And I can't switch players. And of course, we get scored on instantly too. Like in its current state, in its current state, it's not playable. I've got a goalie in the net and he, he the puck is going through him. What is going on? Why do I lose every single face off? Why doesn't he make a single save? This game looks sick, and it's so bad. Okay, listen. There's got to be... Dragon? It's saying dragon. My controller is vibrating like crazy right now. And that was our game. So we got play, find, quit. Okay, so you actually can hit start mid-game. I'm going to put the player speed down to zero. Let's put the puck speed down. Let's put the puck max speed down. We're going to really slow this game down and see if it plays any better. Hey, you know what? I put it down to one instead of... 10 that it was on and it is actually a little bit a little bit chill maybe not but <laughs> this is wild dude i feel like i just went through some fever dream playing this game but honestly like like i said this has potential the concept is sick the physics like the, the guys flying around the rocket league explosions like the camera tilting up and showing where you're at. I mean, it gives you kind of a seizure when you're watching it. But this game, this is, this is, it's another like two, two, three out of 10. But it, again, the potential is there. Hopping into the next one. The thing that I wonder about all these games is do they ever just have some random come in and test them? Because there is no way you hop into a game for the first time. It should be that impossible. I wasn't moving off the draw. I was trying to move. Couldn't get the puck. They walk down, score seven goals in a row. Bop, 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 bop. It's like, how have you not had some random come in and test it and try it and had them experience what I just experienced? We are into our next game. This is Canvas Hockey. So this one, I actually saw this floating around on Twitter a while back, and it's supposed to be more of like an artsy hockey experience. So instead of necessarily being about like insane gameplay, this is supposed to be more of a therapeutic game. You watch it and you feel at peace. Today, we're gonna find out if I can find peace via canvas hockey. Wish me luck. You know what here? We gotta put Rusty in. We got Rusty, number 61. We are on the Sellies. And our goalie name is none other than Selly. And then we can also adjust our colors. Give me a nice purple vibe. Ooh, this is therapeutic. This is what I'm talking about. We're vibing. Okay, so they have like different skills. So we have our rating here, 30. This is like a be a pro mode. And we can upgrade our skills as we go. We don't have any points unlocked. Here's our team stats as well. We have not played a game, so we have no team stats. After all the chaos of today's video, it feels nice to have something that we can just come and relax to. Here we go. Next game, Canvas Hockey. Rusty, press any button to join this is like trippy honestly so it's literally just like a i mean it's called canvas hockey but look at this we're just buzzing around we can shoot with our t boom there's a nice little pass okay okay right off the rip you know I, I am questioning why we have a purple versus purple matchup but we're just gonna ignore that for now i'm gonna go a little dump and chase okay, i expected a little bit more juice off that and we got nipped on and he just he just did the the slide on the ice celly right to center ice sick what a start that is like, it's it's hard to take it serious just because of how odd it is but like it's kind of this is kind of cool in a, in a weird way i don't know if it wasn't purple on purple it'd be better but there you go nice hit rust we're gonna grab this puck low i'm gonna fire that boom 
at the net rust. So that's, this is classic vintage rusty if I've ever seen it. Dude, the animations, like, as you guys getting up are kind of nuts. <gasps> Boom. The, the, the timer is there at the bottom in paint it, it is in paint you know so it's tougher to see this is wild dude what are we doing yeah, we gotta we gotta just we have to score a goal just so we can see there is no way that rusty cross checks that guy in the back and it slides into the back of the net like come here come here toots what's Sully doing in net what's toots doing back there what are we doing uh, let's go for a skate we got to use more of our speed burst i think that's going to be the uh the real difference maker Nice shot there, Russ. Actually, I like that look. Tutina? Tutina! Tutie! Tutie! Oh, let's go, Tutie. That's what I'm talking about. We're back in this game. We're winning this thing. I just need to know what happens when you actually win, you know? That's that's my favorite part of, about playing these games. Like, I like seeing the screens when you win and when you lose. Double Dion? Wait, slight double Dion. Boom. Okay, the intermission just co the the intermission just comes out of nowhere. I don't know if it's because it's in gray paint in the bottom of the screen, but I just never once pay attention to that that time. Yeah, we got 24 seconds. We still need to score a goal here. 2D obviously, 2D obviously got us one. You know, respect to 2D, but we have some work to do here. Let's go, Toots. Okay, maybe not shoot from behind the net. <gasps> Let's go, Rust. Oh, hit the net, Rusty, dude. <gasps> dude, I'm spamming it. I was spamming RT! As that's gonna come to an end. All right, it, it doesn't matter since the screen just says Berg and Jabroni win. So that is uh, canvas hockey. You know, I felt at peace at the beginning of the game, maybe a little less so as the game went on. I think it's a bit unfortunate that we had a purple on purple matchup in game number one. The artwork though, and, and the fact that we're playing on an art canvas and the players like move like it's 2D, like they're painted on there. That's kind of cool. Uh, kind of. Kinda. Would I make an entire hockey video game based on this concept? Probably not personally, but you know, respect to the guy who did. It, it's a fun little game. They also have the be a pro mode. They've got different modes built in. Uh, I'm giving this one a nice, a nice five, a, a nice five. It, again, the potential's there. It's not quite complete, but it has potential. All right, our last game of the day. This is a retro vibe. So I think this is actually a game that came out back in like 1998. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. They recently re-released all the games on Steam. This one, I'm telling you what, of all the games that I've seen, this one has some actual potential. One of my personal favorite games growing up was NHL 98. I just love that style and the way that it flowed. This one almost looks like an exact replica of that. Probably just a worse version, but I guess that's what uh, we'll find out. Now we are talking, boys! It's about time we had a banger on the soundtrack. Let's go. First, we got to select our team. Luckily, USA is actually in this one. So we're going to go with US. We put it on human. Scroll over. Dude, yeah, they got like the OG, like the memory card is here. This is this is exactly how it'd be like back on the PS1. Oh, these graphics though. This looks, this looks sick. All right, Team USA, we got 84% versus 76%. Let's start this up. I'm expecting some crazy like cinematics and stuff on this thing. Just like the good old days. First of all, look at the loading screen. There's like a disc and then the load. That's kind of, that's kind of fire. Nice touch. And the ref is in position to drop the puck. We got the comment. Taters. Yo, this is nuts. All right, it is underway. <laughs> Yo, this looks, I don't know what it looks like to you guys. This is mad blurry to me. This is crazy. Dude, what is up with that shadow behind the net? It looks like the netting is like, the netting is all the way. What was he thinking? What is he thinking? Is that Lidstrom? Lidstrom, get yourself under control, buddy. All right, boys, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you guys. I played NHL 98 back in the day. It had to have been much better than what I'm experiencing right now. I cannot see anything. Oh, okay, I'm starting to be able to see things. What is going on? All right, good feeds. Good feeds. I don't know how to shoot. What a shot. What a shot. Okay, we're starting to figure this game out. We got a little five on three. Mike Ruzioni. Boston, Massachusetts. Ew. Save. Just go in the net, dude. Why are all these games so hard to score? Yeah, uh, I'm starting. I'm starting to think that there might have been a reason that I uh, had never heard of this game as a kid. It might be because it's the worst video game I have ever played, and I, I sincerely mean that. Like, I don't. The, the controls, I can't. I can't figure out the controls. I'm hitting every button to shoot, every button to hit. Switching player isn't. Okay, that's that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we got the RGBs going crazy out there. Oh, is that a disco ball? Oh, dude, that was sick. 
Okay, one goal. We're going coast to coaster. Coast to coaster. Put on the... Oh. Dude! How did they not stay outside? I straight lined. I'm not I'm not stopping at the blue and cutting back. I'm I'm just going in a straight line up the ice. Okay, okay, you know, let's 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 start to give an honest review here. Uh, number one thing is the camera angle is so bad I cannot see what's happening at any given time. The graphics, I know NHL 98 graphics were not good, but this seems much, much worse. Then NHL 98. I mean, can we just Thanks give a shout out to the fans? Ice. Look at the fans up top. It's just like a, a straight line wow, of fans <laughs> going at an angle up the boards. The <laughs> Again. Boom! Oh, there we go, the fellas! Lafontaine, how do you do? We got the disco ball. We got the... What, what is this, though, actually? Like, why does it have to show all four lights going off? <laughs> the one thing I do like about this game, like, all jokes aside, is the, the ref goes and gets the puck and brings it to different parts of the ice. There's no cutscenes or anything. Like, everything is happening in real time. Which is kind of... Did I just get... Did I just get OV reversed hit? You guys see that? Enough's enough. That's actual hockey. That's from, like, 1998 or something. Again, I think NHL 98 back then was just phenomenal this is not the controls make no sense the camera angles make no sense the graphics you can't even tell what's going on the only good part about this game is the cellies when that goal light goes on and you get to see all the rgb lights flying all over the ice that's pretty sick but all in all we i mean we have to give it another a two out of ten another two out of ten well there's no easy way to put it today was a rough one i know we played some bad games in the last video but i think we seriously took it to another level in today's the one thing I will say about today's games is a lot of them had potential. Like the idea, the concept, the atmosphere is there. It's just the actual gameplay itself. The most important part was not. My two favorites of the day in terms of potential. Number two, I'm going space hockey. I think that idea is sick. But you guys saw, I literally could not move off the face off and they just walked in and scored seven goals in a row without me even having a chance. Also, some of the graphics, you literally could not even read what was happening and I might've got a, a brief seizure from playing it, but the actual gameplay and the actual idea is pretty cool. Other favorite game of the day, I'm going Hozier Hockey. I just like the vibe, you know, having like the couch that was like embedded in the snow up top, the radio that as you got closer, the sound got louder. Now, don't get me wrong, the actual gameplay itself was horrible. You couldn't score, I couldn't make a hit, but the artwork and the idea are there, and that's what it's all about. So that was part two of playing the worst hockey games ever made. You guys got to let me know what you thought about these in the comment section down below. Also, if there are any games that I missed that you want me to test out, let me know down there as well. We could hop into a part three and give it one last go. Also, I was thinking for the next video, maybe a worst VR hockey edition. So let me know if you want to see that. That's going to do it for today's video. Hit it with the like, hit subscribe. We're on the road to one milli and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.